think you can see we do a lot of things outside here. So normally we're in shorts and flip flops at work, right, Rob? We're kind of casual. We don't normally put jackets on. Uh, but one of the things that I've noticed, I actually moved here in 1988, was on the hotel side, left for about 16 years and came back and got to be part of the CBB. And one of the things that I really noticed that changed a lot over that time period is we added a, a lot of hotels. We're at 200 hotels here, 18,000 rooms in the marketplace. So I know you're not going to have time to see all of those. But it's all ranges, all budget uh, relations, all different types of brands and so forth. So there's really something for everybody throughout all of that. And we've got a lot of new development happening over the next uh, two years or so. So the Kempton in Palm Springs just opened up last month, 150 rooms, brand new hotel, first brand new hotel in Palm Springs in like 20 years or so. Rooftop pool, bar, beautiful views of the mountains. And they've got a nice new uh, complex around that with shops and restaurants and so forth. In Palm Desert, AC by Marriott, the uh, Paseo Hotel opens up next month, also with 150 rooms. Montage and Pendry, the, the two properties that work together, have just announced Silver Rock and La Quinta. They'll start construction here shortly. They should be open in 2019 late. And there's a bunch of other hotels. The Dream Hotel and Andas are under construction and a few other ones as well. So as we continue to develop, uh, one of the things that our organization has kind of evolved as well, and our board said we need a master plan. What does tourism look like for the destination 10 years from now? So about a year and a half ago, we did a master plan. We launched it last year, and the consultants came in and really looked at the fact that some of the areas that we need to focus on as an organization is transportation. So we've dedicated the last few years, about a million dollars a year,